Hello students, I am Mamta Sood, faculty in Department of Electrical and Electronics, Oriental Institute of Science and Technology. Today, I will be taking the topic counters. What are counters? Counters are sequential circuits. They are used for counting pulses. Counters come under the widest application of flip-flops. It is a group of flip-flops with a clock signal. Counters basically count the number of clock pulses so they can also be used for measuring frequency or time period. Counters can be classified into two types asynchronous or ripple counters and the second one is synchronous counters. In asynchronous counters the external clock signal is applied to the first flip-flop and the output of the preceding flip-flops are connected to act as the clock of the next flip-flop. In synchronous counters, all the flip-flops work synchronously. That means all the flip-flops receive the external clock pulse simultaneously. Counters can also be classified depending on the direction of counting. They can be classified as up counter, down counter and up oblique down counter. What are up counters? Up counters are the counters that count from a small count to a big count. That is, their output goes on increasing as they receive the clock pulses. For example, we can say the output of an up counter will be 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. Down counters are the counters that count from a large count to a small count. That means the output goes on decreasing as they receive clock pulses. We can take an example that the output of a down counter will be something like 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and so on. Up oblique down counters are the combinations of up counter and down counter. We will begin our discussion with asynchronous up counters. Here we have made use of 4 T flip flops. We can see that the external clock signal is given to the first flip flop which is labeled as A. The output of this flip-flop acts as the LSB that is the least significant bit of a counter. The output QA of the first flip-flop acts as the clock signal to the second flip-flop. All these flip-flops they are negative edge triggered. Since we are making use of this counter for up counting initially we will clear all the flip-flops. When the clear signal is activated all the flip-flops output becomes equal to 0, 0, 0, 0 that is QA, QB, QC and QD are all 0. That means the first count of this counter is 0. Now we will see the timing diagram of this counter. We can see the external clock signal which is a square wave which acts as an input to the first flip-flop A. Since this is a T flip-flop and it is negative edge triggered, this flip-flop will toggle that is it will change its state at the negative edge of the external clock signal. That is from 0 it will toggle to 1 and from 1 it will toggle to 0. Next we have plotted the output of the first flip-flop QA. The negative edge of this flip-flop QA acts as a clock signal to the second flip-flop. So the second flip-flop will toggle at the negative edge of QA. And the third flip-flop will toggle at the negative edge of QB. And the fourth flip-flop will toggle at the negative edge of QC. All the negative edges have been marked in the timing diagram. And we can see that the counting sequence is from 0, 1, 2, 3 up to 15. And after 15 it goes back to 0. That means this counter counts from 0, 0, 0, 0 to 1 1 1 1 that is it counts from 0 to 15 that is total 6 clock signals are counted that is there are six, 16 different states so this is a mod 16 counter in general we can say that for n flip flops used in a counter counter will count 2 to the power n states starting from 0 to 2 to the power n minus 1 and it is also called as mod 2 to the power n counter. Now we will see a asynchronous down counter. Since asynchronous up counter is clear, the only difference between an asynchronous up counter and down counter is that 
that instead of using QA to act as the clock signal to the next flip flop, we make use of the complement of QA that is QA bar acts as the clock signal to the second flip flop. QB bar acts as the clock signal to the third flip flop. Since here we have made use of JK flip flop and in a synchronous up counter we were making use of a T flip flop. The J and K terminals are connected to logic 1 and we know that when J and K both are equal to 1 it acts as a T flip flop. When J and K both are equal J and K are connected to each other to form a single input it acts as a T flip flop and it will toggle at the negative edge of the clock signal. Next is state diagram of the counter. The state diagram of a counter basically represents the states of a counter graphically. The number which is written inside the circle represents the state number whereas the arrow shows the direction of the counter. Here we will discuss the state diagram of a 2 bit counter. We have two counters up counter and down counter. We can see that for a 2 bit counter it will have 4 states and up counter will count from 0, 1, 2, 2, 3. So the state diagram we can see that after state 0 the next state is 1. After 1 the counter goes to state 2. From 2 it goes to 3 and back to 0. In a down counter the counter counts from a larger number to a smaller number. So we can see the initial state is 3, from 3 it counts to 2, from 2 it goes to 1, from 1 it goes to 0 and back to 1. So that's all about a asynchronous counter. In the next class we can see what are synchronous counters. Thank you dear students.